Please don't have Brad. Don't shoot! <laughs> <Don't shoot. laughs> <laughs> 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 <You're laughs> <right. laughs> My jugular! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. You are joined by Casual Jaker, a creature rarely seen on the podcast. Uh, you are also joined by Bragg. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bragg? Uh, I have begun Twitch streaming my Master Jewel. I just saw that then, um, as bad as that sounds. I was not aware you were streaming last night. Yeah. Uh, but then again, the mic... I, I somehow turned down the microphone so you could only hear Lachlan's half of the commentary <laughs> of me How? just and so that's and what's annoying you're like I burst a Mac Knight player <gasps> uh, invoked Mac Knight and I oh, just, I went absolutely troppo like I was just swearing like <laughs> I was so mad. what do you mean it moves <laughs> I'm just like I don't want to burst this I li- I, it's just I'm not here for it I, I do not care for this and it's just Oh, what did I do? Like, oh, so it's tank, tankies over there, and as soon as they set one, like, because I burst like two or three decks, two, they burst two or three times. You see them set where the tanky is. I'm like, you motherfucker, don't do it. Purple, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So that was the streams went alright. I'm pretty bad at tri brigade, but I still win. So, what can you do? That's all that matters. Uh, then played locals tonight playing Eldritch because I decided to give Duck the two intentions so he can practice for regionals and also my brain no work so I play Eldritch yeah let's bring everyone down to your level yeah <laughs> drain that skill <laughs> how'd it go uh I only saw the skill drain against a Cyber Dragon player in the Dead Rubber game 3 which we're just running through so that's the only time I saw skill drain oh and against Harry where or they they all activate from grave. Yeah, prank you <laughs> <to> <laughs> Yep. Yeah. And what do you get do? to search of my doodle? Okay. Yep. Nothing. Exactly. Search of the doodle. Search of the doodle. Skill drain node. You can't skill drain doodle. Can't drain doodle. We move. You can drain the we doodle. We absolutely move. Ben! <laughs> uh, I went to locals tonight. You sure did. It was fine. Starts really well, like all my locals lately. <laughs> I win the first two rounds easily, and then just lose. Uh, Last week it was I won the first three rounds easily, and then I just lost. What did you lose against today? I lost to Seb playing Heroes. Yeah. <laughs> I lost the die roll. He made a Dark Lore, and I was like, I can out this. My hand sucks, but I can out this. I have zero follow up, though. And he was like, okay, Lightning Storm. And I was like, cool. Um. Then one game two, because I went first. Game three went second. He set up full board, and I was like, my hand yet again sucks. So that was that. Uh, Then, last round I played against... What did I play in the last round? I can't. I was at Andrew playing Mutants. (laughs) And he opened his one-off trap trick all three games, and I was like, cool. Yeah. Trying to tribute, out he goes... Torrential Tribute chain to a special summon, and I was like, cool. I no longer have a follow up. Wonderful. Awesome. I hate yeah. trap tricks so much. Because, like, I just don't want to play it either, because, like, that, uh, the no more traps for the rest of the turn just feels so bad. Yeah. I know, the tra- I know like, running the fourth or fifth Torrential is pretty good, but it still feels super bad. But it works for mutants. Yeah, it did. Well, they've got a lot of one off traps that they like to be able to do. So. True. But when you blow out prank kids, you don't need those follow up traps. He literally just, like, in game three, he realized that that would just stop my deck. If I activated an extender and he just trap tricked into Terraform, into Torrential, and then activated it, chain link one, the new chain. And he just did it, and, like, stud three back row, and I was like, cool. Awesome. I was listening to Harry at the same time. I've looked over and seen him do the torrential play, and it worked kind of well. I'm like, oh, I'm going I'm to try and torrential Harry. No, yeah, yeah, he had twin twister or something. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> 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 oh shit! How about your week? Uh, my week. I still have not bothered putting a uh, competent deck together. Well, actually, that's not fair. Magnites are doing fine. They do the same shit they always do. <laughs> <laughs> Purple, <laughs> green, <laughs> green. <laughs> Half the board is green! (laughs) 
Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thankfully against me, you won't be seeing any green because that card is fucking trash. Um, we but yeah, the mic I need to... Hard there too. Hey? We bought the mic there hard. Real yeah, that's, bad. that's okay. Pop it. <laughs> <laughs> the man's oh, got a gun! Oh no. Yeah, we're being threatened by a nerf gun, so yeah. um, we move on. Um, so yeah, uh, Mech Knights are doing the same thing they always do. I do need to move on to something different. I keep wanting to like play the Mech Knight hand loop, but I need Prosps to do that. And the person who said he would loan me Prosps keeps not loaning me Prosps. Not um, loaning your Prosps. I know, I never asked you. Good. I need them. At any moment I could be asked to play Dragon Maid. <laughs> you never know who's going to knock on your door in the middle of the night and be like, Let's duel Dragon Maid right now. It's like... Just okay, randomly... <laughs> Last Tuesday, when I left here for from the podcast, I went home and it was raining. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, cool, whatever. It's nice to sleep when I'm raining. Not 10 seconds after it started raining, my brother bursts into my room, not knowing that I'd arrived home, because he wanted to like make sure my windows were closed. But it was literally like that Big Bird meme from a while back, oh, where yeah. he literally just, just like, burst through the door and just stands there. Because <laughs> he wasn't expecting me to just be laying in bed, and I look at him, I'm like, can I fucking help you? He's like... I was checking your windows. I was like, they've been checked. Get out. <laughs> it's fucking 12.30 in the morning and he just burst into my room. We should really figure out window closing etiquette. Oh, it doesn't really matter here. Do you want me to close your window? Normally the wind blows it shut. Yeah. Well, your windows are that way. Yeah. So yeah. even if it rains, like it's not going to rain up through the window. Mm, if it's, it's, like, it's, if it's done it a couple if times. If it's going like hard oh, sideways, it comes through. Yeah, whereas mine's just like a standard slidey one. So if it is a directional one, depending on the direction, it can go in the rooms. So I appreciate the thought. Yeah. But the actions were unnecessary, and it scared the fuck out of me because I didn't hear him coming until he was already in the room. You could have been dueling with Dragon Mage in there, so it's not. Yeah. It's just not very. Uh... You could have burst. Yeah, he in didn't even at least see... ask yeah. me to. Play oh God! Dragon don't look away! I play Dragon Mage. <laughs> it's not what I look like. <laughs> Don't bounce my normal summon, please! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, anything else you want? To, you could possibly want to run? We've got a lot of decks. There, there's lots of things I could play. Like, even if I just moved back to fucking Invoked and won no, some games. No, please! Something else, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's workshop. There's also Ignisters. I've got Ignisters. I've got the crossouts to be able to play Ignister. I've now got a play set of um, Mask of Restrict as well, so I won't be kaiju Let's play Sales Ban. That doesn't stop the kaiju. Yeah, it's fine. You'll get through your combo. It, getting through the combo is not a problem. It's the turn after. They're like, oh, that's a cool 6k unaffected towers you've got. Can you just play Soul Have Soul? a turtle. What? Can you just play Sword Soul? Sword Soul is so fucking dull. Holy yeah, shit, that's bad. Why my Sword Soul? No. Why not? Because I don't want to. The deck, A, lost its best card. B is boring to I mean, play. Did you just get to use your uh, your Fleur early? No, Fleur is being saved for a later deck that does not exist. Just use it now. No. Anyway, um, so you, yeah. Did you trade for that Fleur, or are you waiting to I take the pull for, for his virginity? <laughs> Excuse me. You're gonna take its negation virginity. <laughs> we move on. Um, I've also been playing Master Duel a fair bit. I broke the ceiling. <laughs> I broke the fucking plat 5 ceiling that I've been stuck at with this terrible deck for the longest time. I'm now on plat 3. Plat 3 is just as ass though. There's so much fucking shit. I just seem to I be breeze through 4. I just get Drytron and Eldritch. Yeah. That's what I verse. Drytron I... is just like, oh yeah, um, my 1 negate got fucking Herald of Orange lighted and you're going to set up 17 negates next turn. Cool. Uh, move on. Eldritch is a fucking free win. It's so fucking free. It's so good. I've, lately I've been experiencing the whole lose the coin toss every time. That used to bother me. But now that Sangan searches Maxi, everything's fine. <laughs> like, le legit, once I actually got enough gems to earn decent ultras and I didn't need to build any other decks in Master Duel, I've started to buy staples and everything's better. Dragon Wave was very expensive. Yeah, we no, taxed in it. Still not finished. What are you missing for it? Staples, because that deck is Staples the deck. Yes, yes it is. Yes. Um, speaking of Master Duel, uh, we have an announcement of our first event. Mm. 
Yeah, cup. Cup Format? challenge. Challenge. Whatever's on that right screen that's been locked, we're uh, fine again. They've called it a festival, and it is uh, the Exe Festival. Uh, so just reading from, it's like there's no dragon meeting. <laughs> totally awesome's at one. Why the fuck would I want to play an Exe festival? <laughs> um, <laughs> so Exe's festival for extra deck only Exe monsters can be used. That's a weird wording. Um, this event has a limit regulation, which is just to say that you can only use Exe's in the extra deck. Um, you can also play the same regulation at room match during the event. We should really, we should really do more room match stuff. Yeah, probably. I don't have time. Yeah, and for the longest time, I don't know if you were in the same boat. You remember how we, when we first talked about it, we said that the rooms weren't available? Yep. I misread it. Yeah. It I, saw room, a yeah. Black, I saw a black <laughs> thing, and I saw the word usable, and I assumed the colour more dictated what I could do, and that it was unusable, and I just didn't read it properly. Yeah. Because yeah, when, yeah, when you mentioned it a few <laughs> podcasts ago, I'm like, mm, that's weird. And then when like, I log back on to double check, I'm like, he definitely thinks that usable says not usable. On my screen, it just looked grayed out. Yeah, yeah it's grayed out. Yeah, it, it it's not. It? It's, yeah. it's not an inviting looking button. Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah, they're like, don't, can I was like, don't work with friends. Just fucking verse the randoms. Well, you can't abuse them anyway. So also, like, if I do like dual rooms and I invite people to verse me, they'll just get FTK. <laughs> it's not fun for anyone. Yeah, come Maybe. lose. Well, I mean, if you, need, play Yu-Gi-Oh. if you need to practice FTK, and that's probably what it's there for is a practice. So it, it would feel nice to do decks that aren't going to affect my ladder performance. I do that deck inside and out. Well, that's what I do in solo mode at this point. I practice my combos in there. Oh, yeah, because like, I mean, I queue up against that first solo one. It go, this is how you tribute someone. Go, okay, combo. <laughs> and then practice combos in there. <laughs> I mean, you don't even really need to do it on that. None of them run any hand traps of any significance. No. You could literally do it against anything. Hmm. Although I find myself like playing the loner Klee deck that's like the Towers Turbo one, just because it's funny to be a brain dead moron that just goes. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like, and I never really got into Towers Turbo, but yeah. anyway, Ignister is just more complicated Towers Turbo. Change my mind. I mean, it does something after Towers Turbo, which is the important thing. Does the and it doesn't Festival... predicate on floodgates. So yeah, the Exes yeah. Festival, they haven't exactly clarified, but I mean, I know that we're all going to just be playing Train Exes and Eldritch. Oh yes, Eldritch, that famous Exes deck. That's what... It's Constellar Pleiades and Trains. Yeah. Anyway, what were you saying? Um, Pendulum's going to be in this? Uh, hmm. Tricky question. Yeah, I wonder if it's if Pendulum's... I'm sure there. you're allowed to, but you may not be able to actually summon them back. So it might just be if you like doing Lunar Light that you can run Tiger, but you can't ever get Tiger out of the extra deck. Not that yeah. you ever would. Um, but yeah, from what I've read, um, they <laughs> will have Loner Xe decks, which is probably some fucking garbage. Um, but you get less medals. It's gonna be Bujins. Maybe, mm. like legitimately, maybe. Um, but yeah, if you use the Loner decks, you get less medals. Imagine if you're playing Pendulum and the moment a Pendulum monster touches your face at Behrek, you get DQ'd. <laughs> Just go, you lose. <laughs> it's fine to Pendulum summon them, and it's fine to XCs with them, because they go to Grave, but the moment one touches your face at Behrek, game over. That would be funny, because then Ghost Ogre would just be, like, auto-win against Lunar Light. <laughs> oh, your Tiger went to extra deck. Sorry, game over. Call Judge. judge. Digital Judge. XCs only. Oh, this is on XCs in here, you're banned. Um, yeah, but that starts as of the 17th, and they've got an update um, that runs for a couple hours that day as well. So um, be ready for a blackout for a little while. And um, yeah, I think it's like 5.30 Australian time is meant when it's meant to start. Yep, but it yep. never actually finishes when they said it does, because I was literally there the last time they're doing an update. It's going refreshing be... for the longest time. But like, I want to play. <laughs> it's going to go forever. Yep. Um other than that though we have some product news um so um it's got here the battles of chaos which has obviously been out oh, for a yeah, little while now yeah, yeah. Sorry, but yeah. no no but with that i it have came noticed out after we recorded the last pod oh yeah but we talked about it in yeah. Peak and stuff so this, yeah, yeah so this is the first week with it out yeah and the main thing that's come out of that is that the uh special edition dark magician that was printed in there is a lot less special than what we first thought i wish to retract my previous statement of one per six cases it has been confirmed as one per two cases. 
Yeah, so from uh, about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars down to like maybe four to five hundred, if you're lucky. Nathan auction one off tonight. I will be surprised if it went over three fifty. Hmm, would be interesting to check. So every two cases you get a starlight and a dark magician. Yes. And or. The dark magician also just replaces any card. Oh. oh. What? Okay. So in theory, then it's more common than a starlight. Yes. It doesn't replace a starlight. It just replaces a card. One of you get. I've seen it replace like the eighth common in a pack. Oh. Huh. It's just. Just thrown That's cool. in there. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. So it's you can get. A, I wonder. Is there on YouTube a starlight, dark magician pack? I wonder. I match. The scenes. They should bring God packs into this. Into this no, it's No, <laughs> it's weight scales. Yeah. Doesn't work. Too heavy. Too heavy. I've only ever pulled one God pack in a in a WWE card game. I remember in the Dragon Ball card game, if you pulled the God pack, everyone would be like, oh, "I'm so sorry for you." Yeah. So so sorry if you lost, because it meant your your box just didn't have a rare card in it. So like it was in a case they had like the secret rare, which was one per case, four of like the special kind of variant cards, and then one God pack. So one out of two boxes would have one of those six. And if you had the god pack, oh, if you got the god pack, meant, you, you got had, nothing else. You got nothing else. But then, what do you get in the god pack? Just like, I think it was like nine rares, which were like their standard hollows, and then two supers or something like that. Oh, so even that, it wouldn't have been that good. Yeah, you got yeah. a super in like every four packs. Yeah, then um, yeah, they. That's rough. Imagine getting like a whole pack of ultras, and you're just like, oh, okay, so the rest of the boxes. I, I could swear that at Nats, I won the lucky door prize, and everyone was like circled around me while I opened my packs, and I opened the god pack, and everyone was like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's like, it was a lucky door prize. You didn't, like, buy it. So, yeah. who gives a fuck? I thought the second Dragon Ball card game, they had better god packs. So, that's kind of shitty that they uh, started stuff yeah, up. still mediocre. This was also in, like, the World Tournament set, which, notoriously, these god packs were really shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, their promo packs. So I'm, like, I'm going to get all those promo packs because they're, like, good, good art. And they weren't the good art, and they were bad. Huh. Uh, yes. I have, like... Almost the entire collection of promos from like sets one through six or something. The cell looks so good. Did. You Bandai get, uh, run car games. <laughs> talking about different car games. <laughs> Getting right back on the rails. Um, we also have the announcement of the Power of Elements, which is a uh, well, they announced it last week, but they told us literally yep. nothing about it. I completely set. missed even that announcement. Usually, like I, I remember it. Yeah. Because I'll like to know my OCG sets. Dimension Falls next year. Yes. Do we know it's called that in the, for us? I mean, Irrelevant. it's not often they change the set names. Good point. Unless they called something racist. <laughs> <laughs> Remember anyway. that set that got changed to Rising, Rising Rampage? What was it before that? Exactly. We move. Shut the fuck up, Ben. Um, Alright, so, um, yes, we have now confirmed that it is a Elemental Hero support wave of product uh more so in line with the neos line oh, so it's bad support oh yeah Aww. it's kind of trash um oh, to be fair neos fusion we yeah, have something work with that uh, i mean they used to <laughs> uh... all right morty <laughs> <laughs> that's the second time in a week you've made a morty noise uh... oh geez rick elemental hero support just uh, the spirit the first one it's just like i love it so much I mean, the artworks are very nice from what I've seen so far, but yeah, effects are very subpar. Um, so yeah, the first one, Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. Level 7 Light Warrior Effect Monster tw Effect, what? Mm -hmm. uh, level, uh, yeah, level 7 Light Warrior, 25 attack, 2000 defense. You can only use each of its effects once per turn. When the opponent's monster declares an attack... Oh, we're already off to a fucking... Yeah! <laughs> you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. If you do, it can't be destroyed by battle. Just... God, I just want that to be good. Please. If we've gotten to the battle phase, it's already too late. I know. <sighs> if this card is special summon, you can add one spell or trap that mentions an elemental hero monster's name or one polymerization from your deck to your hand. Also trash. It adds anything. Hmm? Adds equal. Hmm? It has to mention a elemental hero monster's name. Add one elemental hero monster. That is not a name. Can be. It's not that. During well, your main phase... Why do they make a card called Elemental Hero? But they don't. 
During your main phase, you can shuffle this card into the deck, and if you do, special summon one elemental hero, normal monster from your deck. <laughs> I just, I, I love it. Like this card is just cool to me, but it's not good. It's not good. But it does like three, it, three it different does effects. Three things, it, and yeah. all of them are bad. But like, such as Apex Avian. Stop saying things. But, but this is already playing wingman. Already something I have. Next to no interest in, and you're but dragging it out. Shut you search the for fuck up, Ben. <laughs> you summon a ben, Batavian. Ben, Ben, Then you ben, just need ben, to get Burst ben. Matrix. Stop. Oh, you, you got the Burst Matrix on Thursday as well, didn't you? Yeah, I've got two now. Yeah. Two? Jake's, Jake saw the support, and he's been sneaking them in. Yeah, uh, yes. like, that's why I'm trash talking them now. No one is going to find out my strategy to summon Flame Wing Man, attack with Skyscraper of a game. Pick up your booby best in the tricks you now. You barely got through that sentence. There was so much slurring. Yeah, it's late. Yeah, it is late. So let's move on. Three in the morning. Elemental yes. Hero Shining Neo Swingman. Level 8 Light Warrior Fusion. 31 attack, 25 defense. This card looks like crap. Uh, one Elemental Hero Neos and a Wingman Fusion Monster. Is it just like a bunch of squares in a in an open board? No, it's Neos with the Shining Flare Wingman wings. Okay. Which is the crappy wings. Uh, Elemental Hero Neos and one Wingman Fusion Monster. Must be Fusion Summoned. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is Special Summoned, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of attributes on your on the field. Um, gains 300 attack for each monster in the graveyard. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh, hold on. I didn't say that. This card's great. No. Uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card is destroys in a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So... Obviously, it has to destroy a battle to do the wingman burn. If it did that to the cards, it destroys by card effect. Well, yeah, it'd be like a pseudo OTK. Is that? But it don't. Dragoon. Would that be too powerful? No, because we have dragoon. Yeah, it's better. Exactly. So therefore, we should have done that. But they didn't, because it's hero. You've got to print bad oh, cards God. sometimes. Crosskeeper looks weird. Konami is all over that. Um, you can't just print only broken cards. You've got to print bad cards. Uh, Crosskeeper. And they didn't even make this a level 3. <laughs> of course they didn't. Uh, level 2 Dark Warrior effect. Uh, attack and defense both 400. Dark Warrior, you say? Can That's only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. Can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Special summon an elemental hero or neo spatial monster from your hand or graveyard. But if you special summon it from the graveyard, its effects are negated. If you special summon an elemental hero, fusion monster, or monsters while this card is in your graveyard, banish this card, draw two cards, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Uh, next one is in EN, Engage Neo Space. Uh, normal spell. Searchable in the Engage Archive. <clears throat> yes, the Engage Archive. Make sure to write the full name of this card, because they may mistake it for something else. Uh, you can only use one card with this card's name per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. The turn you activate this card, except fusion monsters. Send one Neo Spatial Monster and one Elemental Hero Monster to the graveyard, one from hand and one from deck. Special summon one Neo Spatial Monster or one level 5 or higher Elemental Hero Monster from your deck. If it's Elemental Hero Neos, it gains 1,000 attack. Ooh. And if you do, add one polymerization Ooh. from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So hear me out. Nope. None of these cards search Neos Fusion. Nope. If only this summoned... Um, if only this got Plasma. Plasma? Prisma. Why can none of these cards just not say add one polymerization or fusion card? Because mm. that would mean they're splashable. Except for that one because it locks you into... Ah, oh, fusion. Mm. No. No. Broken. Um, instant contact. Normal spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Pay a thousand life points. Special summon one level 7 or lower and elemental hero or near spatial monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. But if you do not have elemental hero Neos on your field or in your graveyard, the summoned monster cannot attack, its effects are negated, and return to the extra deck during the end phase. This is an extender! Yeah? Is it a warrior extender? We'll turn, we'll... Is there anything stopping this from... No, there's no restrictions on it. You're not locked into heroes. Like, you need, need to play, obviously, the fucking garbage extra deck monster, but it's, yeah, just an extender. It's instant fusion. Huh. That's... Um, also, that the artwork of this card <clears throat> is 100% going to be a play map. No, it'll be a part of the squares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does have the fucking square. Imagine if they just put that on a mat instead of the fucking square. Microsoft it's fucking paint effort they put in with the other one. More square. 
Uh, e and wave, continuous spell. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. If your elemental hero monster or monster is used as material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can special summon one Neo Spatial monster or one elemental hero Neos from your deck. If a Neo Spatial monster or monsters and or elemental hero Neos is shuffled from your field and or graveyard into the deck and or extra deck, you can special summon one elemental hero monster from your graveyard. Ugh. And then you summon back the other one, and it's effects negated because it came back from graveyard. I don't know. Some fucking. So it's shit. fusion. We're nearly done. Uh, fusion over. Quick play uh, spell card. Uh, and then you use this card once per turn. This is going to be the reason why you can't just have it say add one fusion. Not at all. Uh, target one face up monster on the field. Reveal one elemental hero monster, one neo spatial monster, or one level 10 monster from your hand deck or extra deck. And if you use the targeted monster as fusion material this turn, you can treat its name as a reveal monsters. Also, if you have Elemental Heroes Neo, Elemental Hero Neos on your field and or in your graveyard, send the revealed monsters to the graveyard. Otherwise, if it was revealed from the hand, shuffle it into the deck. Hear me out. The card's like a hard neck too. You reveal obelisk just for the meme. I mean, I've had obelisk used as a verte material on me before. They used like there was Dark Magician, they used Circle to stack the deck, true name true to call name. it, summon obelisk from deck, use the rod and the obelisk to make verte, and then summon dragoon. <laughs> What's the trap card that you like that negates the name? Sales pitch? Negates the name? Yeah. Didn't you just say it earlier in this? Sales ban? Sales the spell card? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So you just chain this and then just change the name of the card. To go, and now it's Obelisk! <laughs> Good. You can't stop my. No. What could work? My burst Anatrix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You won't negate my burst Anatrix effect. It is now called Obelisk. Anyway, uh, favorite Booby Obelisk. <laughs> he does have some massive pecs. He does. Gets to be a suspect sometimes. Maybe you think it's burst Anatrix. Favorite contact, normal trap card. You can only use this card's name once per turn. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists hero monster as a hero monster as material by placing materials listed on it on the bottom of the deck in any order from among your cards in your grave, hand, or field, and your faced up banished cards, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you place elemental hero Neos, the summon monster cannot be returned to the extra deck. That's like the best of the ball, but even then, it's not that great. These cards all have unnecessary restrictions. It's hero. Like, the, I literally brought this up in chat when the first three came out. They just need something to actually let them play through their turn. Because there's nothing in here that goes, oh, this means I can't get Nibiru. Literally, you can let hero summon <clears throat> as many monsters as they like. Almost all of them. They will still die to Nibiru. It'll be a big fucking token. But they will die. Unless. No. <laughs> Unless? They activate sales ban. <laughs> to the moon! Push that price up. <laughs> Did you buy extras? No. I bought my playset. You fool. I got them at a very good price, too. Uh, also, what in does some. What does this meme possibly mean? What? Someone, uh, Konami printing instant contact. And this just got. I'll give this to you later. And we'll mark the time code. What does this mean? I assume it means that they're just getting rid of the original one. Like if they were ever playing it in that deck, which they shouldn't be, because it doesn't do anything. Well, no one on the internet has a plan for instant contact yet. There has to be something. That's too good. Not too good. It's good. I wouldn't say it's too good. Um, Alright, in product news that I actually care about, um, we have the first announcement of cards from the set whose name I don't remember. Um, that set? Oh yeah, I remember uh, that set. Is this the archive collection? Or is this the no, this is anime? The... No, this is not. The other those. one with the race name that they're changing. Shut up. Um... That's why we can't say it. But anyway, the archetype is called Mr. Rune. Oh, the, that one. Yeah, the that one. Um, so, this looks like a really fun deck. Um, you just want to banish Necroface. 
No, no, it banishes your opponents. You just give them Necroface. Oh, yeah. I'll just give them Necroface. I'll pull a fucking Weevil Underwood and put just it in there. Sneak it in the deck. That's how Necroface works. You yeah, you can do that. Deck. If you have the same sling, surely you can do it. Wait, is no. it on Sportsman Monk? Is it? Yes. In no, it's not. It's not in the rules. I'm giving them a card. It absolutely. There's is. nothing in the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh saying you can't put cards in your opponent's deck. <laughs> there is. No, there's not. There is. Look it up. Not right now. I'm busy. Um, <laughs> just, just shut the fuck up. Spring of the Mister Rune. Um, you can only act. Oh, you can activate Mister Rune quick play spell cards from your hand during your opponent's turn. Once per turn, if you activate Mister Rune quick play spell, you can target up to three quick play spells in your graveyard of that archetype. Uh, place them on the bottom of the deck in any order, then draw that many cards. That's pretty good. Um, what's this one called? Deceit of the Mr. Rune. Continuous spell, you can only control one of it. Each time a quick play spell card is activated, banish the top card of your opponent's deck. Uh, point of the Mr. Rune. Um, quick play, activate one of these effects, skip your battle phase next turn. Add a Mr. Rune card from your deck to your hand, except for itself, then banish the top card of your opponent's deck. Or special summon one Mr. Rune monster from your extra deck to the extra monster zone. Uh, Mr. Rune of the Brilliant Flame, um, same restriction, um, activate this card, skip the battle phase of your next turn. Um, target one opponent's special summon monster, destroy it, then banish the top two cards of their deck, or special summon extra deck monster. Uh, Mr. Rune of Destruction, activate one of these effects, target one spell, trap card your opponent controls, destroy it, then banish the top four cards of their deck, special summon a Mr. Rune monster, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Mr. Rune of the Dispel. Activate one of these effects. If your opponent adds a card or cards from their deck to their hand, except during the draw phase, discard one random card from their hand, then banish the top two cards of the deck. Special summon something something. Um, Mr. Rune of the Freezing Curse. Uh, target one effect monster your opponent controls and gets effects till the end of the turn, then banish the top three, or special summon blah blah blah. Uh, Mr. Rune of Slumbar. Target one face out monster on the field, apply this effect, then banish the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Once applied this turn, that monster cannot attack. Also, the next time it would be destroyed by battle card effect is not destroyed. Um, oh, okay, so that's more of a protection one rather than attacking the opponent. Um, or the special summon. Um, Mr. Rune of the Golden Droplets. Um, your opponent draws one card, then you banish the top four cards of their deck. Or special summon. Um, Mr. Rune of the Raging Storm. Uh, banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck equal to the number of cards they control or special summon a mystery monster from your extra deck. Now for the extra deck monsters. Uh, Moonin, Wings of the Mr. Rune, level 3 Light Fairy Fusion, uh, two Mr. Runes. It seems like you don't ever actually fuse these monsters, by the way. They just sort of get special. I don't think special. it's possible. Well, yeah, at the moment, you'd have to be able to get two Mr. Rune monsters, and there's no way for you to legally do that. Yeah, they will have to be summoned to the extra monster zone, so it's, yeah, you can't actually do them. Yeah, not currently. But we'll see how we go. Literally, you don't even need to. Literally, every quick play spell says you can either use its main effect or special summon one of these from the extra deck anyway. Um, if this card is special summon from the extra deck, you can discard one card, add a mystery and continuous spell from your deck to your hand. Uh, of which there is only one. So also, none of these cards are legally summoned. So if they go to graveyard, you can't read them. If they die, they die. Yeah. Um, this is useless. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a mystery and card or cards and or set card you control, you can banish this card, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. So uh, once it does nothing, because all your stuff activates from hand. I mean, it protects the field spell. Yeah? Actually, no, it doesn't. It says set spell trap cards, isn't it? Hang on. Uh, Mr. Rune or set. Targets yeah. Mr. Rune cards. Yeah. So yeah, if they, they go to target... target's gone anyway. They stole them as it's done anyway. Look, I don't need this negativity from you, Ben. Look, these fusion monsters in are pointless. In a moment... Deck out the opponent, be toxic. In, in a moment, I will show you why... That won't matter. Um, it's not to do with this effect, though. Um, Geary, Fangs of the Mr. Rune. Um, if this card is special summon from the extra deck, you can target one non-quick play Mr. Rune spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Recur the field spell. Uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Um, the reason it doesn't matter is because because none of these extra deck monsters actually need to ever be summoned, or they don't have a main deck engine, you have a normal summon free. This was all just set up so you could talk about Alistair. No. As MBT put it, you play fucking... What's that archetype called? Fuck. Evil Eye. You play Evil Eye. The best normal summon it's engine. It's always goddamn Evil Eye. 
Just play Invoked and then you get to fucking Book of the Law or whatever the fuck it is. It's another quick play. No, these ones have to be summoned to the EMZ. But, no, but, but the other by card doing that... Mills a card when you activate quick play. Oh yeah. Just Book of the Law summon the fucking... But, in saying that, like, it's a free link too. Because you normal summon Alistar, summon one of these ones. Ah, no, then you haven't milled a card from your opponent's deck, you're not being toxic, you gotta be more toxic. There's seven other cards that do that. Just use all of them to do that. Oh, I will. Don't, don't you worry, I will. <laughs> Man's been, like, waiting for Brandon for so long to be like, finally I don't have to summon Alistair again, then Konami's like, Are you sure? This He's like, you know what? I really want to normal summon Alistair. Is there another fire at the bread factory? It's always a fire. The toast bread. factory. Oh yeah, sorry, it was the toast factory. <laughs> it was a bread factory before the no, fire. They rebuilt it, <laughs> and now it's a bread factory, and now we need to turn it back into a toast factory. They're like, the flames for the toast were too dangerous, we have to make bread. Too dangerous. <laughs> oh no, the ovens. Um, yeah, so that is a very interesting archetype. I'm looking forward to seeing if it gets any more support and what it can do. Um, <laughs> Guess what? Banish one card from your opponent's top of your deck. No, no, they all banish different amounts. Like, one of them banish four. Like, I'm the one that destroys spell and trap banishes four. I'm surprised their boss monster isn't like, shuffle back all cards in the banish files into the deck. This card gains 500 attack for each. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if they ended up making that. What am I looking at here, Bragg? So there's a new hero that I didn't see when I wrote the show notes. Are you sure it's real? Yeah, it's on, it's on, uh, on Yu-Gi-Oh! organization. Oh, it must have only just come up because I definitely didn't have it here before. So here for the heroes. Oh, that stopped too close. There's a drag race happening outside. I think it's a fire truck. It's a fire engine. Fuck the fire engine. Nah. To the toast factory. They are going to the toast factory. Which is that way. Oh, yeah, it's, it's I hate this thing. Yeah, I was going to say. We probably shouldn't talk about it. So anyway, they announced what all these cards were leading to. The hero monster. Uh, hero fusion monster with 2500 attack. That has a damage step effect. Cool. Oh, <laughs> Activate. Honest. It floats into a warrior. Yes. And oh, it gains 300 attack for every material that it was used for it. Yeah, because it's one of those one plus material kind of dealies. Oh, you can miracle fusion million. Match, it's going to be great. Miracle yeah. Fusion, one million. Grass <laughs> Miracle Fusion. Ooh. Um, yeah, and that's another one of the cards that's coming out in the History Archive collection, um, which we do also have some cards for, but I can't be bothered reading them. Yeah. Um, miracle yeah. Fusion is searchable. That it is, Ben. That it is. Um, so we have some uh, questions and comments from our Discord. Um, so Nicholas Smith from our Banlist Fallout video... Um, which seems to be still getting engagement, unless you didn't update them. No, 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 no. It's only just Discord this week. I didn't put it in the show notes. Oh, I I'm see. Terrible at okay, this. we spoke about that one last week. So, one of our more recent questions. Rai guy asked us, "What Yu Gi Oh creators do we follow? Yu Gi Oh content creators." Um, MBT apparently this guy. I've been watching more of his stuff lately, and Distant Coda. I've been watching like his um, Twitch clips. Because it's funny. Braggia. <laughs> Shut up. And Loza. Loza actually had a pretty good video on the um, on those banished cards too. I like Loza's video on... Um, who's the guy that I also hate? Dark Arm Duelist? Mm. Kira Twig yeah, here! Twi Fuck <laughs> that guy! <laughs> Fuck we Kira Twig. We got beef with you, Kira. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. Everything um, he uploads is shit. Oh, DBYGO as well. I haven't watched him in a while. I've never heard that before. Oh. Um, he's this older dude who, like, basically just does literally two-minute videos on new cards and just cusses them out. Or like, says he it's will... cool. Like, he, he researches it pretty well. He mixes in a few, uh, a few clips and memes, what the kids call them. He goes all right. Um, he's been gone for a long time, too. Yeah, I don't really watch much video content. I just look up stuff. Like, I'll go regionals, deck profile, scroll through, watch as many as I can, spool through them, get a gaze. I just watch Market Watchers so I know what's worth what. Who's Market Watch? I don't know. All of them. <laughs> everything. 
That'll be across all markets, Brad. Yeah. Gotta watch them all just copy each other. <laughs> That's all they do. Well, it's all the same news, right? It's like trying to take a maths test. You can't get different answers. Everyone should be... Whoever uploads first, the, all the others are just like, this is happening, and it's like, yeah, I know that. What else you got for me? It's Nothing? most news sources, right? It's the same thing. Okay. Uh, Zinthonian had asked, what do you think the worst, most unnecessary... Un unnecessary censorship of a TCG card is. Oh. Bonds Luke's big rocking guns. Well, that's coming up this week. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We got that back. Removing um, obelisks boobs. Yeah, when they replace them with pecs and stop calling them burst in tricks. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> um, I honestly can't think of any. It's more name changes that I get triggered by. I remember there being like one really dumb one. Adventurer. <laughs> Adventurer. There's... Have you guys actually seen the change on Nurse? What oh. the what the what the oh, what no, no. No. They just got rid of the buttons off a shirt oh. in the English one. Because like two of the buttons look like nipples. Oh, oh! You mean fucking Nurse Dragon Mate? Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you were talking about Dark Lord Nurse. I was like, no. "There's a uh, one." No, the Lost Art for Nurse just has the buttons on her coat. Sure, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I honestly can't think of any. I don't pay attention to that many because I'm not a fucking weeb. <laughs> uh, he also just looked at me when he said that. Because you were just I'm, talking I'm about fucking Nurse Dragon Maid's nipples. No, I wasn't. I was talking I'm... about the coat. You looked dead in the camera and said that. No, you looked at me. Cleaning the buttons on the pants. Uh, Zinthonian also My asked, which are mates... right now. I don't have... I've got the stretchy elastic. Cool. Mm. <laughs> Fashionable. Elastic gang. Uh, which mate and Master Jewel is the best and why is it the gear gear one? We all know what my answer is. I find that factually incorrect. What do you reckon it is? Didn't wait. We've, we've definitely it's, talked about this. Yeah, yeah, we've definitely mentioned this before. It's World Legacy Guard Dragon. It's... It's Rabbit. No. Ash. You pat it on the head and it looks like she you're spins. going... She spins. No. Spin. You haven't seen me? No. She spins, she spins, she spins, she spins. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking furry pedophile fuck. It'll be one, of, one in the morning, I'm off my face playing Master Jewel ladder just going... <laughs> spin, 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 spin. <laughs> She just goes wee wee wee, like I'm a Beyblade. Hear this in the middle, of the <laughs> like a Beyblade. <laughs> and with magic. Feet. You wake up to get yourself a drink of water, and you just hear spin, from spin, Gregory, spin, spin. spin as blossoms, spin. Show me your feet. Feet. <laughs> uh, then there was like a ruling question in there. Yeah, something about convulsion of nature and bugs. Parasite, parasite. Yeah, bugs. We stole the day. Oh, Edwin mains the skates. Why? I, You're better I, than that. No, I like. No, so this is the thing. People think they're meta because they pick the ones that don't do anything. You're not meta. You're not funny. No, well, he he does he does say that it's super lame and it suits him. You're better than that. Self defecating is not for you, Edwin. Defecating. It's deprecating. Defecating is also a thing. He's shitting on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Stop shitting yourself, Edwin. The funniest thing is, it's normally Jake the one that corrects people. It's like, <laughs> that's not said it's like this. Well, he said it so to... confidently. He's like self-deprecating. He's like, no, Jake, that's not how that goes. Well, that always made sense to me because people were putting shit on themselves. <laughs> no, it's really yeah, deprecate. Um, there's a there's another topic in there. I think we should talk about on a different topic. Did you have any you wanted to talk about? Um, there was something I saw not long ago. Where was it? Um, oh, favorite least favorite changes to the ban list. No, that's boring. Um, sorry to no whoever, offense. Yeah, sorry whoever um, wanted to that. Well, least favorite. Favorite change. I go banned. Least favorite change. Skill drain the three. Bitch. Oh, is it in reference to the, the opposite? One? Favorite change. Skill drain. Least favorite. No, I O could go. <laughs> that's fair <laughs> master dual ban list best change all the gem knight cards came back worst change I don't really know Maxine 
Maxi, Maxi doesn't matter. So many people just play Maxi as they're in a hand trap, and I'm just like, you can draw 50 cards, you're fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of point in playing Maxi if you're not drawing into things that actually respond to the board. The same way people like, oh, it'll scare you're them. Playing and Eldritch, have so many why? resources. At most, they're getting nothing. two draws. What? On Master Jewel? Yeah, you're not playing no, Eldritch on Master Jewel? No, I'm playing Try. Why the fuck would you not? What? Why would you not play... Uh, Eldritch seemed like there was a... Not a ceiling, per se, but, like, I felt like... Uh, and a lot of the meta is shaped, like, people just running that anti-that, like, anti-Eldritch stuff. You guys are having different conversations. Oh. He's talking about one thing, you're talking about something else. Are we? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. We're talking about me playing Eldritch in Master Jewel? Yes. And I'm saying I don't. Then yes. why did this conversation start, like, playing Max C against Eldritch was bad? Because was... It is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Bragg disagreed and said, I'm playing Try. And then you were like, really? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, why would you not play Eldritch? As a viewer, this was confusing as fuck. Nah, we were... It was all, it's all good. Because I whinged about Max... Because I was like, Max is just annoying. It's there. I like it. I play it. Just annoying. There's a poll in the Discord as to whether or not this is confusing as fuck. Um, what's most annoying about it, though, is that they always draw into the correct hand traps. But I don't. Well, I'm like, okay. Oh, I got I got gamed against fucking Mac Nuggets! <laughs> so, I had a brain snap one in the morning. I played my second Desires. Oh, no. I think and I know then, this. Is then I Mac Seed Mac Nuggets <laughs> after that. Oh. You decked out. Okay, that's not where I thought it was going. I'm that's trying to hit the like... surrender button and they loot me. Like, it was just one work, so, like, I, you ran out of cards as I'm going, No! <laughs> Don't do this! I refuse! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Desires is not good in that deck. Try. I keep forgetting that you're <laughs> not playing Eldritch. I was like, why would you play Desires in Eldritch? That's dumb. Yeah, Tri- like, say it. I mean, on our other point, Tri Brigade just has... It just seems, like, pretty free on ladder. It's not the best, not the worst, but it consistently has a banish. Which is beautiful. And you can make Zeus. Yeah, there's not a lot of decks that can't make Zeus, to be fair. Yeah. If I put my brain to it, Mech Knight could make Zeus. I was playing on mobile it's today, shunned. and I realised I don't like mobile. I was playing against the info... No, I was playing against the hero player. And he like, made me go first, and I was like, oh, sweet, I brick, this doesn't matter. But I had, like, Monster Reborn and, like, just a handful of Gem Knights, so I was like, set one pass. And his entire turn was just normal summon fucking Stratos, add, attack. And he passed, and then I just lost connection. And I was like, fuck mobile. I got the I freeze win of my life. <laughs> and yeah, game disconnects. I find, I don't know, when it came out in the early days, I don't know if um, OCG maybe had access to mobile earlier than everybody else, but there was a lot of OCG plays with connection issues. Yeah. Yeah, who was, um... Oh, in Loz's, like, 45-minute marathon where he was playing Stairway to Heaven versus Magistus something ass. Like, they were constantly disconnecting and just not getting kicked. You could see... Yeah, it came possible. up with, like, that little icon to say that they'd lost connection and then, yeah, they come back. It must be, like, a time thing. Like, in, um... DB. Like, you have a certain amount of time to get back. I feel like... I think I've only lost connection once. We lost connection that time that we the whole yeah. house lost internet for twenty four hours. I thought I got onto my onto my hotspot quick enough, but must have, must have, not fast enough. Aussie internet, Aussie broadband. Sorry, oh, Aussie internet is also shit. <gasps> Do the thing. No, I shan't be doing that. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah. Not a lot of questions in our Discord that weren't answered by Lachlan, therefore making them redundant as podcast questions. We'll get, we'll get back to the other ones in a future special episode. Ah, uh, yes. Which special. we have to... Oh, that's this Saturday, isn't it? Possibly. Okay. Uh, it's whatever works. Okay. I've just got to be gone by five. Yes. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, feel free to jump into our Discord. The link is in the description below. Ask us any questions. Jump onto our videos as well. Feel free to leave any comments there. Um, otherwise, yeah, thank you very much for listening, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, yeah, see ya, audio people. <laughs>